Hello today. And today we're going to have a game of 10th frame on the Atari ST. Now I think this is the only 16-bit version available. Didn't come out on the Amiga for some reason. 87. Pretty sure it should have done, but it didn't. I mean, it's access software. Well, I think it might have been converted. All right. This is, no. Oh, Atari ST version. Okay, yeah. Originally it was created on the Commodore 64 by Access Software. Um, okay. So interesting to see what it plays like on the 16-bit. Right, so we can do a league if you want, but we're going to just do open bowling. Number of players, one. Enter my name. Why does that look like a ZX Spectrum font? Go for kids now. I do believe you gotta operate it via the mouse. Um, number of games one. So okay. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We didn't even line it up. So everything is operated by the mouse here. Right. So if I click on that. Hey! I don't get what's going on! How can I adjust? I don't get it! I always have to push a right mouse button. Nothing. So how do I adjust? I can't use a joystick, so how the fuck do I adjust everything with the mouse? So how do I like do I Why can't I adjust it? What the fuck is going on with this version? It's not... I can't adjust it. I can't move the crosshair. Oh, I can move... Oh, right. You've got to hold down your... Um, right mouse button to move him left or right. Once you've done that. Oh, now you've got to do it again to adjust the crosshair. Right, so... Okay, we're getting somewhere now. It's a bit weird. And once you've done that, you push your left mouse button. And when it comes down, you try and get it in the center. Right, okay, we've got it. So we've got a spare after all that. So I think we've, we've sorted it out, hopefully. It's a bit weird, but there you go. So, hold down right mouse button, once you've adjusted it, do it again, hey, no, you've got to do it there, so you've got to be clicking on it, right, okay, you've got to be hovering over it, okay, and once you're happy, once you've lined everything up, left mouse button. So it works similar to um, leaderboard. The way the power thing works. If you played leaderboard, it works like that. Even that was that was done by Access Software, so they're using that sort of same method. Right, I'm getting this now. I'll get right. Okay, it's all straightforward now. Okay, okay, we're there. We're there. So that's another spare. Right. Right. Okay.
Ooh. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. So once you get used to it, yeah, it's all right. It's the same with like um, leadable golf. It was completely different on the 16 bits. Over the, well, it wasn't, but you just had to use the mouse instead of the joystick. You know, once you get used to that, then you, it's fine. Fuck that up a bit. Oh, am I going to miss it? No, I completely missed it. Right, let's just go for the aiming of that. Oh shit. It's a. It's, yeah, it's it's fine on the ST. It's fine. Just got to get used to using the mouse, that's all. Because I have reviewed this on three different 8 bit systems, and they all play pretty much similar with the joystick controls. You know, getting used to the mouse. It's the same with leadable golf. Well, I had world class leaderboard on the Amiga. Oh, I pushed the fucking fire button! Or the mouse button, rather. Oh, I got a strike! Did I? No, I didn't. Did I? Why did I get a round of applause? Oh, no, I did get. Alright, okay. Oh. No, I'm on. What? I don't know, I'm confused now. <laughs> right, let's move him over. Alright, okay. Yes, got a spare. And a round of applause. Right, nice. Right, so I'm on seven. Right, okay. Whoa. Oh. So there's only 10 frames, oh, that's why it's called 10 frames. I'm sure we've all played bowling. Used to be in a league years ago. Alright, let's push him over. Right, so you can do him in any order you want. As long as you're hovering over it with the mouse. Oh, well, that should be a spare. So, what's the way? Once you get used to it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fine to play. It's fine to play. You know, because I'll come straight from the 8-bit version to a 16-bit version using the mouse. is a little bit different, but once you get used to it, it's fine. Oh dear. Get all the sound effects here. But you'll make sure you're pushing your right mouse button or holding your right mouse button when you move these. Don't push your left. Use that when you do the power. You don't have to be in the box. Oh, that's a spare. Another spare. I don't think I've got a strut. What? So it's five and six. Is that? A str I don't know. Can't remember. Right, okay. Oh, 
Oh oh. Yes, ST version plays fine. Actually, that's moving on its own. I'm not even holding down the mouse button. What's going on there? Hang on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, it's weird. Is there going to be a spare? Ah! Print score sheet, no. That was all right. Once you get used to it, you know, coming from over from the 8-bit versions to the 16-bit version, it's a little bit different with the, using the mouse. Um, but once you get used to it, it's like anything comes second nature. It's the same when I went from like the Commodore 64 version or the Amstrad CPC version of leaderboard and I started playing World Lock class leaderboard on the Amiga going from joystick to the mouse it was a little bit different but once you got used to it it was fine it's the same with this just got to get used to it but it looks fine you know it's it's pretty good to play especially if you've got lots of people around probably be quite good fun anyway going to end this now thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye